Hello. Hello, Mr. Prince. Yes. Hey, this is uh, Dave from the front office here at Mohawk Gardens. Yeah. And um, we need to ask you to stop flushing sand down your toilet. Me flushing sand down the toilet? Yeah, yeah. I've never done that in my bloody life. Oh, no, we, we've we got it on camera. We've got a camera in your bathroom, and we saw you flushing sand down the toilet. Sand? Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you would do that. You keep flushing all your sand down the toilet. Flushing sand down the toilet? Yeah. Are why? you sure? I'm positive. you got to cut that out. Jesus Christ. I know. It's stupid. Quit being so stupid. I honestly can't believe this. What's hard to believe about it? Why in the hell would I flush sand on the goddamn toilet? I don't know why you would. I, you need to stop it, though. We've got cameras in your bathroom, and we can see you do it every time. Every time? Yeah, we have security cameras. This is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, we have security cameras in your bathroom. Good. And, and we keep catching you, you know, flushing sand you down don't the toilet. keep catching me because I don't flush the goddamn stuff down the toilet. Yes, you do. We saw it every time. We've got it on tape, and you better stop it. Also, hey, you live by Mrs. Cotton, don't you? Well, I, don't, I don't know who she is. Oh, well, why don't you get out and meet people sometimes, you know? I go out every all the time and meet people. Well, how do you not know Mrs. Cotton? She's like the most outgoing person here in the complex. I know. You, you just ask anybody in the goddamn complex. Everybody knows me. Okay, let me ask Mrs. Cotton. I'm, ha- I'm happy with everybody. How do you not know Mrs. Cotton if you know everybody? She lives over in 319. Yeah. I know I know the people to, t- to talk to. You, you should go over to 319 and... Inter- flushing inter- shit down the toilet. I don't flush it's okay. bloody uh, sand down the toilet. Where would I get the sand to, to flush down the toilet? Oh, because you, you dumped sand all over your apartment floor for a beach theme? No, I did not. That's a, you got somebody else. No, we're sure it's you. You got the wrong person. We have cameras. No, no goddamn way that I... Flush sand down the toilet and a beach scene and everything else. You got somebody out. Go look for somebody else. It fucking well wasn't me. I'm sure it was you because I'm looking at your cameras right now and I, I can see you on the phone sitting in your beach living room. I'm not sitting, I'm standing. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I mean that this is bullshit. Yeah, well, you're the one that says you know everyone and you don't even know Mrs. Cotton. There's lots of people I don't know by the name, but I know them Oh, that's talk weird, because I could have sworn you said you know everyone. Well, what are you being such a smart ass with me for? I didn't do a goddamn thing. I don't bother with it, with anyone. I haven't got any enemies in here or anything else. And I don't flush sand down the goddamn toilet. Well, you're, you started it, because you started cursing at me and just having an attitude. I, th- I, th- I think you're just trying to nail me for some damn thing that I, I don't even understand why. Nail It wasn't you. me anyways. Oh, no, we, we installed... It flushes, it flushes sand down the toilet. It would have to have sand to flush down the toilet. I know. I do don't have any sand in this bloody place to start with. Why do you have all that sand in your apartment? That's weird. Like, who does that? I don't have sand in my apartment. Okay. And that's not weird. It's you can not... come up to goddamn apartment right now and you can find sand. It's not weird that you have sand in there? That's. I think it's weird. I don't put sand in my apartment. I don't have sand in here. All right, if you say so, whatever. Just, just. Pl- I think you're just trying to pull a bullshit with me. Just please stop, okay? Just please stop, because it ruins the drainage. You know, we have to call plumber. Or- it doesn't drain nothing from here. I, I don't shove stuff down the bloody toilet. We installed detectors I inside the drain pipes. Look somebody else's place. Don't look at mine. You can look any, at mine any time. Okay. I don't. Where would I get the goddamn sand to shove down the bloody toilet? You had it delivered. You you bought it in bulk, so you got a cheap price. You're full of shit. No, you are. Ah, uh, you are. No, you are. Cactus, 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 cactus. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, also known these days as Steve Dave. A name I totally came up with on my own. I didn't steal it from Kevin Smith at all. Today is December 30th, 2016, and this is probably the last show of the year, I would assume. So woohoo, 2016 is over. Almost. It's been a great year, except for that little FBI kerfuffle. Today's show is sponsored by Chris and Sarah. Thanks, Chris and Sarah, for being a supporter of the Snowplow Show. 
If you'd like to support the show, you can go to phonelosers.org slash cactus and sign up for just five bucks a month. That gets you extra shows sometimes and live show videos sometimes. But most importantly, it just helps the show. It helps make more shows happen and forces me into putting actual effort into the show sometimes. And it contributes to my mounting legal fees for making prank calls. So be a supporter, phonelosers.org slash cactus, or you can do it at patreon.com slash phonelosers. Hey, remember how some of you were having problems logging into the secure server on phonelosers.org? You know, you paying member people who are trying to hear the secret shows. And some of you were saying you couldn't get through because it was saying, you know, too many secure connections at once or something like that. And I think I fixed that. So please let me know if you're still getting any kind of errors like that. I think the problem was actually just some weird security threshold setting that I had to change. But I don't know. Maybe it's still happening. So let me know if it is. Just post in the comments or send me an email or something. I don't care. Tonight, a landlord is facing felony charges. And it's what he was caught on camera doing in a couple's bedroom that has them so upset. Dun, dun, in this 11 call for action investigation, only 11 News reporter Kyla Gaylor has this story. Police say Carlos Quijada used a tenant's bed to have sex. And the people who live there have the video to prove it. It was an alert from his phone that led Logan Pierce to a startling discovery. I got a notification from one of the cameras on lunch the other day that it detected noise and it was strange because both of us work all day every day. One of those cameras is set up in the bedroom of his apartment at Skyway Condominiums in Colorado Springs. I opened up the camera and kind of had to like quit the program and like restart it again because I didn't really believe what I saw. We have to stop the footage here because Aww. the rest is too graphic. What a but bummer. what comes next is a clear picture of I his really getting into this. having sex on his and his wife's bed. I guess the first thing that went through my mind was like complete and utter disbelief. Logan's lease, like many do. So I don't know. I don't want to sit here and play the news for you guys all day. But that story was submitted to me by Nathan. Thank you, Nathan, for sending that one in. If you want to see the video where they blur out the manager having sex on their tenant's beds, I will have a link to it in the show notes for you. I've got a request here from, uh, I guess there's no name on the request, but he says there were notices everywhere in my apartment complex about a guy running around knocking on doors in his underwear at five in the morning. There was also someone trying all the locks on the apartments and hiding out of view of the peepholes. You should do a prank to my apartment complex and tie this into it somehow. And then he has the complex name and the phone number. He says the apartments are three digits long, starting in 200. And if they ask for a building, say 67 or 68. Sue here. Hello, uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm a tenant here, and I have a question. Okay. Um, where are you? Uh, what building are you in? Building 67. 67? Yep. Okay, so you're in the townhouses? Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. How can I help you? Um, I was just wondering, uh, do they ever replace the carpets here? That's up to the owner's responsibility. Okay, all right. Because that's in the suite. So you're in unit one then? Uh-huh, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I wasn't aware that she had actually rented that one out again. Well, no, I'm, I'm in unit 206. Okay, you said you were in 67, so that's a townhouse. Yeah, that's the building. No, no, no. 67 is the townhouses. Oh, I don't know. So which, <laughs> which, which building are you in? Oh, maybe it's building 200. Okay, you're in unit 206? Uh-huh, yep. So would that be 69, 206? Mm. Oh, I mean, yeah, yep. Okay. Um, so which carpeting are you referring to? Uh, the bedroom. The hallway carpet? Well, mo mostly the bedroom, but in the hallway too. That's where it's okay, really bad. Hall okay, and that's the hallway in your suite? Uh-huh, yep. Yep, yep that is the owner's responsibility. That is not our responsibility. Oh, you're not you're the not owner? In no, I am not. I am the, the site manager. Oh, okay. Okay, Fancy. so if you have a problem with... Because yours is an owned suite, and you're, um, I believe you're, um, you're an owner managed suite. You're not one of mine, I don't think. Oh, okay. And there's just a lot of urine, you, a lot of urine in all the carpet. I, so I just wasn't sure who to call about that. 
Okay. Tons you of would urine. have to call your call the uh, person that you rented from. Who are you renting from? Oh, hell if I know. I mean, you you ask a lot of fucking questions. Well, sorry, but there's okay. a lot of conf- there's a lot of uh, complicated rentals in this place. Yeah. Well, it sounds like I don't have to be nice to you anymore because you're not even my landlord. <laughs> well, whatever. So eat a dick, bitch. <laughs> Okay, but we look after the hallways, and if you have any problems with the rest of the building, I was in the hallways. We will deal with it, and we. But no, no, the the hallways of the complex. Yeah, I was knocking on the doors, the elevators, a few weeks or ago, anything like that. I was knocking on right. everyone's doors, trying to warn them about the the issue. But they weren't awake at, at, at five a.m. What what issue? Oh, I I um I knocked over a thing by accident in my apartment. Uh, it, it was a, um, a bed bug farm and I, you know, they were, they were kind of escaping and going everywhere and I just thought I should warn everyone. So I wasn't even dressed. I was just running around in my underwear, knocking on doors. Oh, okay. And what is your, what was your name again? Uh, Steve Dave. And Steve Dave. Yeah, but that's not the reason I'm calling. I'm actually calling because my carpets are just soaked in urine, like really thick urine. Everywhere. Well, that is something, like I said, if it's inside your suite. Oh, why are you taking my name for it? Uh, because I don't know you, and oh, okay. I should know everybody who is Well, you're not even my, my manager. So you're, not, you're not even the owner. It doesn't matter. I still have to know everybody who's in my complex. Oh, whatever. Okay. And where they are living. Yep. And how many people are in there. Well, um, are you who I would call about my toilet? Because that's the reason there's urine in my carpet. I've been peeing in the carpet because the toilet's broke. Nope, nothing to do with me. Okay, all right. What are we still talking for? I don't know. Well, hang up. Because you're not in 206-79. I am too. I said 69. Uh, You're 69? I am talking to the person in 206-69, and it is not you. On the phone? So, no, in person. Why is he there? Because well, it's probably you the, are not. It's probably the wrong one. I didn't even say 69. Ugh. Well, that didn't go well. I'm sorry, person that submitted this. I tried. You didn't even give me the right phone number, though, or the right lady that owns the place. Or maybe you did, because I said a different apartment number, and she just assumed it was another apartment number. I don't know what's going on with this one. It's confusing. But I did my best, okay? And you know what? Now I kind of want to call up other apartment buildings and tell them that I, you know, the carpet is soaked in urine because my toilet's broken because that one didn't work out. So I'm going to look in my tenants from hell directory. So here's one from Carlos. Uh, the title of the email is bitch former landlord. I'm a big fan. I would absolutely love to see you call my old landlord. Here's some information. And there's a bunch of information. It's across the street from a liquor store. The bitch landlord's name is Denise. And Denise is a condescending woman that would react well to your humor, meaning she would freak the fuck out. And there's just a ton of information in this email, but he forgot one thing. The phone number to the apartment complex. What the hell, Carlos? But it's okay. He's got a link to their website, so I'll just go there, get the contact number. Call may be monitored and recorded. And that was weird. Thank you for calling Baby Mies. Erlene speaking. Oh, who's this? Hello. I'm sorry, who's this? Erlene. Uh, this is Erlene. Erlene? Yes. Is Denise Is Denise around? Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm a tenant. Uh, you're looking for Therese? Yeah, Denise. Denise or Therese? Denise. There's no Denise here. Yes, there is. Uh, Denise. Oh, well, or anyway, I, I can tell you my problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, so my, my carpets, they're soaked in urine because I've been peeing on them because my toilet's broke. So I think I need oh, my, car- really? I think I need my carpets replaced. Oh, okay. Um, can you give me your unit number? Oh, okay, baby. It's F208. F208. Mm-mm-mm. So you need we need to remove your uh, carpet. Well, maybe Please. just clean them. They're okay. I've just been I've been urinating on them for the past two months because my toilet's been broken. Oh, we, okay. 
Yep. Okay, did you call the click fix to to look at it and uh, see the problem is? What? Well, uh, well, the problem is that there's urine in the carpet. That's all. So I, only the carpet, but the toilet is okay now. Oh no, the toilet hasn't worked for months, but that's okay. I just pee in the carpet. It's not a big deal. Well, okay. So, um, okay. Do you want to talk to our boss? Yeah, let's it? let's talk yeah, to the okay. boss. Please hold. Is, okay. Is the boss please Denise? Uh, Therese. Okay. Uh, oh, please hold. Close enough. Okay. Mm-hmm. Car- Carlos, did you not know your your landlord's name? Could you not bring yourself to say Therese? So you said Denise instead. Is that what's going on here? Good afternoon. You're speaking. Hi. Hello. Th- hi. This hi. is Steve Dave. I'm a tenant here. Okay. Yes. How can I help you, sir? Well, I just wasn't sure if I was responsible for um, cleaning the carpet or if that was something you guys did there. No, you are responsible for cleaning your own carpet. All right. Okay. Carpet and the staircase. No, the the carpet uh, mostly no. in, in my bedroom and in the hallway. Yes, you are responsible. Are you, are you just moved in, or are you a new resident? Oh no, I've been here for a while. I just my toilet's been broken for a couple months, so I've been peeing in the carpets. You've been peeing in the carpet? Yeah, urinating in the carpets because my toilet's broke. It won't flush anymore. Why didn't you get somebody to fix your toilet? Did you not send a click fix? Uh, oh, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I, I just, um, it's just more convenient just to... So your toilet is broken and you haven't had it fixed? No, it's been broken for about two months. But it's okay. I've just been peeing in the carpet. But the problem is it's starting to smell in here. So I thought maybe I should get him... No. So, no, no, one second. The carpet is... Your your toilet... No, I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Car, is, the car, is the toilet fixed now? Oh, no, the toilet's broken. That's why I pee, pee in the carpet. Oh my gosh! How could you do that? Well, okay. you know, but we at, can at have first the to- we can have the to- we can have the toilet fix. That should be. Did you not know that you can call for service for that? You can call. Yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm calling for service oh. to get my carpets cleaned because they're starting to smell. Okay, no, we don't clean carpet. We we fix your toilet. Oh, can you replace the carpet? Fix your toilet. We cannot replace the carpet. Oh, well, I mean, I'm running out of places. I'm running out of places to to go. Because, you know, I started in just one corner. But then I had to move to a different corner. And then I was just peeing in the middle. And then I had to pee in the hallway carpet. And I'm getting Uh close to the living room. And, you know. Why would you do something? What's your unit number, sir? Uh, F208. Where's sir? F? Yep, F. Two. F like Sam. 208? Uh-huh. F as in Frank 208? Yep. And now, so your toilet is broken. So you want me to send somebody there to fix your toilet now? I can send him sa- right now. Well, I guess, but no, just actually, ma- mainly I just wanted someone to clean the carpets. Or, or do you guys have a shampooer? I could just shampoo the carpet myself if you have a machine. We don't have a shampooer. We oh, don't have a shampooer. Balls. Okay. No. It's okay. But I, we I, have to fix your toilet because we don't want you to be inconvenienced by the toilet. Oh, it's not an inconvenience. Actually, it's very convenient because I can just kind of stand up and go whenever I want. That's not good, sir. That's not a good... No, I, <laughs> I actually, it's kind of fair. awesome. It's awesome. Like, Sorry? Like, you know, I do a lot of gaming, like, um, and, and I can just kind of whip it out and, and, and pee while I'm gaming. No, that's, it's not, awesome. that's, not, that's not hygienic. You have to go to the toilet to pee. Well, that's you why I was one... To- pee in the floor. That's why I was one to get my, my that, carpet shampooed, is, is so it would be more no, hygienic. No, you have to do... You can, call your, you can call a cleaning cup. You can call Sears to clean your carpet. How much does that cost? I'm not sure how much that would cost. Can not you, much, maybe a hundred dollars. Oh, can you check real quick? I'll hold. No, no, not me. You, you, you make that arrangement. Well, you can just call and check. No, no, sir, that's not my responsibility. I'm can, very sorry. I can't do that. It's okay. I can, can I, have your toilet fixed. Can I get that's the, my responsibility. Oh. I make sure that your toilet is fixed. Okay, fine. Do you fine. want me to send my guy now to have your toilet fixed? I guess, but I mean, I've kind of grown accustomed to peeing in the carpets. Also, I'm going to need I'm the number sorry, to... You cannot, uh, that's not, that's, you shouldn't be doing that, sir. Can, I'm very sorry. You can't be peeing in your toilet, in your carpet. Can I get the number to Sears real that quick? Is not, sorry? Can I get the number to Sears real quick? I don't have a, a number. Oh, okay. All right. Sears, no. Yeah. Not really. <sighs> okay. All right. So I'll send somebody to fix your toilet, okay? Okay. And um, can you have them bring All a right. bottle of carpet shampoo? Oh, my God. Your house will be smelling so bad. It's not that bad. 
Oh my god. It doesn't bother me. It's fine. It's okay. It's not a problem. Okay. All right. So I'll have somebody fix your toilet, sir. F two zero eight, right? Yes. Okay. I'll send him right now. Thank oh, you. Oh, right now? Oh, that'll be great. Well, can you can right you give now. me like ten minutes? I have to put the the all the meth away and all the drugs. And, okay. And the laboratory. All right. And the experiments. Okay. All right. And okay. I, I have to clean up a little, you know. Two, two minutes? Okay. Yeah, two okay, minutes. Two I, I got to get dressed and stuff, okay. you know. Maybe three. Three minutes. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye, honey. Bye. Well, there we go. She was a little bit more upset about the whole carpet urine thing. Even though she didn't yell at me about it, she's more like she's just kind of um, really disgusted with me. Let's try another one of those. Um, I've got a request here from a guy named Quinn, and he just sent this eight days ago. He says, I'm the property manager at a complex in... Blah, blah, blah. I just hired a new assistant manager, and I would love for you guys to call her. <laughs> That's awesome. I've actually got a property manager's giving me the names of employees and phone numbers and stuff. Uh, he says, Building 2, Apartment 12 would be a perfect apartment to use. And I think Quinn is a big Star Trek nerd because he used periods instead of hyphens in the phone number. He's one of those people. Thank you for calling the... This is Quinn. Hey, Hello? Quinn. Can I talk to Amber? Uh, she's not in right now. She stepped out of the office. Can I help you with anything? Fuck! Okay, I'll try back later. Who am I speaking with? Uh, my name is Roy Gerbel. <laughs> Roy, where are you calling from? Oh, I know where you're calling from. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, just went on our lunch break. Damn it. When should I call back? Uh, she'll be back at, I'd say, around one thirty. Okay. I'll try that. Okay. Thanks. Right. Bye. Bye. Oh, that was weird. Um, yeah. What is one thirty over there? I don't even know. Must be within an hour, though. And, and wow, Quinn was very uh, businesslike with that whole thing. She didn't even seem happy to hear from me. She's like, oh, I, yeah, I know what this is about. So I think 1.30 is 45 minutes from now. So I don't know, maybe I'll just call more apartment buildings until, until she's back from her damn lunch break. Let's do this one. This one is from Lee. Thank you for calling Grammar. This is Chris. How can I help you? Hey, Chris. Uh, this is Steve Dave. I'm, gonna, I'm a tenant here. Oh, hey. How's it going, Steven? Not too bad. Um, I, w I was just wondering, um, do you guys ever clean the carpets here or replace them? Um, like uh, within your lease? Uh, yeah, within your occupancy? Uh-huh, yep. Um, I'm not too sure about that. Uh, I can totally ask, though. I'm still kind of new here, uh, oh. so I can uh, find somebody and ask them about it. Oh, that'd be uh, but great. But what's up? Uh, did you need like some cleaning or repairs or anything like that? Oh uh, no, just my toilet has been working for about two months, so I've been peeing in the carpets, and um, I just thought I didn't know if you guys cleaned them or not. It's starting to smell a little bit. Wait, hold on. Did did did, did you just say that uh, your toilet hasn't been broken and you've been peeing on the carpet? Yeah, yeah. Just in the just in the bedroom is all, and in the hallway. Okay, yeah, I can totally let them know and see what we can do about that. Oh, uh, you, um, I can hold if you want to ask or put them on the phone or something. Um, just actually waiting. For, I'm going to get a hold of the maintenance supervisor first. He's not here right now in the office, <sighs> and our managers are not here either. Damn. So uh, do you mind if I take your number and maybe give a call back? And what apartment uh, are you in again? Uh, 207. I-207? Yeah. Uh, we don't have an I-207. No, I didn't say I. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't know. I'll I'll just. Uh, you guys said you don't you don't replace the carpet, so it's okay. I'll I'll figure something else out. I'll just put um, cardboard on top of the carpet so I can walk on them. Okay, fantastic, man. Um, so, are you sure you don't want me to check? I mean, I don't know for sure whether they're doing it. I'm I'm sure there there's a way. I just don't know if there will be like no charge or will be a charge or anything like that. But I can totally ask for you, like I said. Uh, just uh, if you give me the unit number or the apartment number, I can uh, let them know that that's the case that's been going on there. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Oh, okay. That's that sound. Well, is it 2206 then? The apartment number? 2206? Uh-huh. We don't have a 2206. Ah, okay. I don't know. I, I don't feel like going out to my door and looking at the apartment number on the door. So, so you don't know your apartment number? Uh, no, I get all my mail at a P.O. box, so it's not like I have to write it down a lot. 
Okay, do you mind uh, just giving me your full name then so I can look it up in the system? Sure, it's uh, Steve Dave. But it's it's okay. I'll, I'll just uh, I'll uh I don't know. I'll I'll just pour a bunch of water on my carpet. I think that'll that'll dilute the pee. I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna pour water all over the carpet. I would advise against that, but uh, well, it's better than hey, pee. Man, oh, it's better than urine. If you have your renter's insurance available, that that should probably help out. But um, yeah, oh. like I said, if you want, just give me your full renter's number. insurance. Uh, what a good idea. Do, do do you think I have to tell them beforehand that I've urinated in all over my carpets uh you know it's probably before you do that that you should have the rental insurance I just, I but uh, hey, hey sh- give me your, uh, your hey, apartment hey, number hey, or hey, your full hey, name hey, and i can go hey, check that out for hey, you in our system hey I, I, I just won't tell them you want what i won't tell them i won't tell the insurance company uh <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay all right well i gotta go i'm, I'm gonna call the insurance company now Sure, go ahead, man. All right. All right, bye-bye. Thanks. Have a good day, man. You too. Goodbye. What a brilliant idea. Let's call an insurance company and ask about renter's insurance. Good afternoon, State Farm. This is Linda. May I help you? Hey, Linda. I just needed to find out about renter's insurance. Can you tell me how much you charge for that? Uh, I can figure something up for you. Okay. And do they clean carpets? What do you mean? If you, if there's a loss? Yeah, well, I, it's just that my toilet's been broken for a few months, so I've just been peeing all over the carpets, and um, the the landlord said maybe I should uh, get renter's insurance and have them pay for it. Not for a loss that's already been. That would be like something pre-existing well, that's not well, covered. Well, the carpet's still okay right now, but you know I'm currently urinating on it a lot, and I don't expect it to last much longer, so I think it's going to be a loss in the near future. No, we wouldn't cover that. Oh, why not? It's a loss. <laughs> so, who, who's calling, please? My name is Steve Dave. Okay. I mean, if you're urinating on the carpets, we do not pay for that. I'm well, it's, sorry. it's not my fault because the toilet's broken. Well, I'm I'm sorry. We wouldn't be able to ride it. Okay. Thank you. Well, you're a shitty insurance company then, if you can't even cover something that basic. The hell, Linda bunch of scamsters over at that insurance company well anyway forget the insurance companies let's call a couple more apartments oh yeah i forgot to mention that apartment place i just called that was submitted by lee and uh, there's an article attached to it and the apartment complex i called is is you know mentioned in this news article because the landlords were telling the tenants that they were choosing to opt out of the housing voucher program so they were trying to evict low-income people because they just don't want to have low-income people there anymore, I guess. But of course, that's really fucked up, and uh, I don't know what happened. But the eviction notices have been withdrawn, and the families are allowed to stay at the apartment complex that doesn't want them anymore. Until further notice, it says. It's not a very informative article, but I'll put a link to it in the show notes if anyone wants to read it. So here's a submission from Peter. Uh, it's another submission that has a shitload of information and no phone number. Apparently I have to click on this link in the email and look up the number myself like a hobo. What the hell? I don't have time for this. Hello. Please press 7 to connect your call. Okay. That's weird. Thank you for calling. For quality of service, this call may be recorded. Why would I have to do that? (laughs) Please press 7 for no apparent reason. They don't have automatic switching equipment there yet. They have to have the, the people calling in do it for them kind of like self-checkout at the Walmart. Good morning. Thank you for calling. This is Evelyn. How can I help you? Hello? Is this the apartment? Yes, this is Evelyn. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Evelyn. Um, I just wanted... I'm a tenant here. I wanted to find out if you guys pay for the carpet cleaning, or is that something we have to pay for? Um, that would be our responsibility. Okay. Well, it's um, it's not my fault, though, because the toilet's been broken. Uh, okay. What is your apartment number? Uh, 207. And what what building or what side are you on? The east. Yeah, I've, I just the the toilet's been down for about two months now, so I've just been peeing in the carpets. What? <laughs> the toilet. What is your name? The toilet's been broken. My name's Steve Dave, so I've just been peeing in the carpet in the bedroom. Okay. What what is your building number? Um, it's the one on the east side, I think. Okay, so it's at 585, 501, 475. Oh, yeah, that's the one, 585. 
Okay. Give me one second. Yeah, it's mostly the bedroom carpet, but I've been peeing in the carpets in the hallway, too. Okay. Give me one second. All right. This is Bridget. Hey, Bridget. Hey. Hey, what's up? Who is this? Uh, my name's Steve Dave. This is who? Steve Dave. I don't, I don't understand the name. Steve Dave. Okay, how, how can I help you? Oh, um, well, it's okay. I'm, I'm already being helped. So I'm talking to some other lady. I don't know where you came from. Um, actually, she's busy with somebody, so that's why I took over. What can I help you with? Oh, did, did she forget to tell you the entire thing that I just told her? No. Oh, well, so you know then. No, I don't know. So I'm, what can I help you oh, with? Oh, well, she sounds like an awful secretary. Uh, I just okay. our, our toilet's been broken, so I've been peeing in the carpets instead. Uh huh. So um, I was just okay. wondering if you guys would clean the carpets for us or replace them, maybe. Um, and what apartment are you in? Two oh seven five eighty five. Building five eighty five. Two oh seven. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Oh well, unfortunately, I, I can't help you if, if I don't have the correct um, address or apartment. I address. just gave it to you. Oh my I god! That does exist here. What? That doesn't exist here. Well, she told me it did. She said building 585. No, but I don't have a 585-207. I said 1107. I don't even have 1107. Do you have a 103? No. Uh, what are what are the formats like? Well, if you live here and if you're a resident here, then you should know your apartment. Oh, number, okay, smartass. Well, I get my mail at a P.O. box, so okay. I don't, I don't, the fir- I don't write down my apartment number every day. Okay, well, how about you just go ahead and come to the office, and then we could assist you. We could help you. If I come to the office, I'm going I'm to pee in your carpets. Okay. You can't stop me. Okay. Honestly, and what's the name? Uh, my name is Steve Dave. That's the name you can't understand for some reason. Yeah, well, how do you spell your last name? There is no last name. It's just Steve Dave. Oh, yeah, I don't have that. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? You're sorry about my I, name? You're apologizing I, I, for my I, name? Yeah. But unfortunately, um, if you want to come to the office, you can. But I do have somebody that walked in the office. Did so you just say it's unfortunate if I want to come to the office? No, if you want to come to the office, you can. But you said that was unfortunate. Like, like you don't and like unfortunately, me. Unfortunately, I can't help you over the phone. So if you want to come to the office, I could help you if you come to the office. What's the difference? I mean, we'd just be talking, right? Okay. Can you hold, please? Same thing. Okay. Okay. I love their uh, 8-bit thing that happens whenever they put me on hold. That's the best feel like I'm playing Atari. That's apparently their hold noise. That's apparently them hanging up on me. And I don't think she was buying it. I don't think she believed me. So whatever. Let me move on to the next one on the list. Um, this is a list from Josh, by the way. Thanks, Josh, for this list of apartment numbers that you sent back in July. Thank you for calling Phoenix Townhomes. We're away from the phones at this time. Oh my god. Josh sent me a number of apartment buildings that just don't pick up. Thanks for nothing, Josh. What was that? Did she pick up? I just heard like part of a word or something. That one back. Park. Oh, hey, uh, you hung up on me. I'm sorry, I didn't hear at the end of the line. Oh, no, you just mumbled something. I didn't know you picked up. She oh, yeah, I yeah. said half a <laughs> word. Anyway, I'm a tenant here and I have a small problem. Okay, what's your unit number? 206. Okay, what's going on? Um, well, my carpets um, are soaked in urine. How, how did that happen? I've been peeing in them for the past couple months because my toilet's broken. Alrighty then. So um, I was just What's wondering, do you, do you guys replace the carpets or, or do you just shampoo them? What's your name? My name is uh, Steve. Okay, hold on Steve, okay? Okay. She just hang up on me again? I don't know what's going on. I keep hearing clicking. Oh, yep, she hung up. She's like, fuck this shit. I don't get paid enough for this and just hung up on me. Probably because I called her a mumbler. Here, come in. This is Vanessa. Hey, Vanessa, I'm a tenant here, and I have a question. Yes, what was the question? Um, well, I just wondered if you guys provide any sort of uh, carpet cleaning services? We do, we do. Okay, and that's free? Uh, yes, how long, have you, when was your, how long have you been here? Uh, about a y- year, I guess, and my toilet's been broken for a few months now, so I've just been peeing in the carpets, and I think they need shampooed. I'm sorry? My toilet, it's been broken for a while now, so I've just been peeing in the carpets. Just urinating in the carpets. 
Um, so what, I, what unit are you in? 206. So I, I think I just need, um, you know, just uh, the, the carpets need cleaned. They're starting to smell oh. a little bit. Okay, and then what is the um, 206, what address? Yep. Right, 1775, 5739. Yeah. Oh, the, the first one you said. 1775? Mm-hmm, yep. Apartment 206? Yeah. Okay, um, wh- why haven't you called us on your toilet? Oh, it doesn't bother me or anything. It's actually kind of convenient just being able to just being able to pee wherever in the carpets. And mostly I was well, just peeing in one corner of the room, but then I had to spread out and now it's like all the hallways have got are just soaked with pee. Okay, and, yeah, that you can't have you can't have that happen. Oh, well. um, cuz that's that's causing damage to the um to well, the carpet. Oh, no, it's not damage. You just need to clean them. Um I'll have I'm going to have Rebecca but, give you a call call back cuz yeah. um yeah, I'll have I, her give you a call, okay? I've been putting like um little squares of cardboard all over the carpets so I can just step on those cuz the carpet's really squishy when I step on it. It makes a squishy okay. sound. Yeah, I'm going to have Rebecca give you a call because so, this is the first I've ever heard of a resident doing that. Yeah, basically I'm so, playing the floor is lava all the time. Okay, I will give, but, I'm gonna, I'll but, give you but, a call. But with urine. That. But with urine. Okay. I'll give you a call. Thank you. Well, uh, will you or Rebecca? The story changes. Now it's her that's going to give me a call. Point. This is Tiffany. How can I help you today? Hey, Tiffany. It's uh, Roy. I'm a tenant here. Hi, how can I help Hi. you today? Um, well, I was just uh, wondering um, if you guys provide any carpet cleaning services because my carpets are just soaked with urine. Your carpets are? Yeah. Yep. From uh, an I'd... animal or? Oh, no, I've been peeing in them because our toilet's been broken. Mostly the bedroom, but a lot in the hallway, too. Okay, I am really confused right now. Are you being serious or? Oh, yeah, completely serious. I just, um, I don't know. I didn't want to bother you guys with the whole toilet thing. But now the apartment's starting to smell because of all of the urine. And I'm, Well, I'm, how long has your toilet been broken? About three months. And I, I've been putting... In what apartment are you in? 206. I've been putting little squares of, of cardboard down so I can step on. And that way it makes less squishy sounds when I walk. 206 in what apartment 206? So was that building 206? Oh, apartment 206. We don't have a 206. Well, building 206 then, I guess. It's written on the side. And what And what apartment number? 103. We don't have a 206, 103. 1103. Ah, damn it, Josh, for not putting apartment numbers on this list. I blame you for Tiffany hanging up on me. And I guess I'm done with your list now. Here's a Tenants from Hell request from someone named Lauren. She said, I just watched a bunch of the bad tenants videos on YouTube. I thought I'd give you the information for the low-income housing here in my city. And a bonus, my mom works there. And she says there's always a bunch of drug busts and people getting into physical fights. A lot of white trash. And she has a request. She wants me to do the plumbing copper thing. You know, say I sold my copper pipes so I could buy drugs. Or wait, no, so I could pay my rent. That's what it was. Housing, may I help you? Hi, uh, I'm a tenant here, and um, I just have a question. Sure. Um, well, I, I, I pulled all the copper pipes out of my apartment and sold them to a metal company to help pay my rent last month. And now my sink won't yes, work. Yes, James. Don't make me murderize you. What? What are you doing? What are you talking about? I'm not James. This is Steve Dave. Look on your caller ID, dummy. We don't have caller ID. Oh, well, why not? I mean, it's 2016. Everyone has caller ID. How do you not have caller ID? How do, how do you even order a phone service without caller ID? Is that even possible? No, We don't. What can I do for you? Um, well, there's that problem with the copper pipes, and also I've been urinating in my carpets because my toilet's broke. So I was just wondering, do you guys clean the carpets, or would you just replace that? What's your apartment number? 
Eleven A. Two o six. Thirty two. Hike. What can I do for you? Um. Well, I already told you two of my problems. Did you write those down yet? Mm-hmm. I don't feel like you're taking me seriously on this call. What's your telephone number? Um, look on your caller ID. Oh, we yeah, don't you have don't have caller ID. Play. Okay, yeah, that's right. Well, never mind. I'll just take care of everything myself. I'll replace the pipes. I'll use garden hoses. Okay. Do you, ha- do you guys have garden hoses there I could borrow? No, we don't. Huh, okay. Who's this? Sorry. What's your name? Mary. Oh, what's your last name? Smith. That's not true. Now you're just lying. And that made her hang up. I just wanted to see if she had the same last name as Lauren. But I guess we'll never know. This was sent way back in February. I'm sure Lauren's moved on to better podcasts by now. But thanks anyway, Lauren, for being a listener a year ago. So it's now 11.42 where I am, and I think that means it's past 1.30 at this uh, apartment complex that Quinn submitted. Remember Quinn? I talked to Quinn earlier, and she wants me to mess with this girl that she hired named Amber. So this one better work out. I'm going to be upset if it doesn't work out. After all this work. You know, I was... This was going to be a hobo-sode, but... Thank you for calling the... Amber speaking. How may I help you? Hey, Amber. I'm a tenant here. Mm-hmm. And I just have a, a small problem. Okay. What's uh, your building and apartment number? Uh, building 2, apartment 12. Okay. And um, so our, our toilet's been a little messed up for the past few months, so I've just been urinating in the carpet for about three months. Mm-hmm. But but now it's starting to smell. So do you guys okay. fix the carpets? Um, no, you would be responsible for that. Well, can you send maintenance in to fix the carpets? Um, like we'll pay for it. We just, you know, our carpets, what's your name? it's like, my name is Steve Dave. It's like when we walk around on the floors, it's all squishy and wet. So I, I can't even wear, um, I can't. Sir, this is a business and we do not, you know, have time to play like that. I'm, I'm not playing, ma'am. I, I just, I have a problem You're here. You're telling I'm, me that you've been urinating on your carpet. Because the toilet was broken. It's okay. Not, it's not have our, a great day. It's not my fault. Oh my God. Hello, Amber. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to call her back one more time. I think I'm allowed to because, you know, Quinn submitted this. Thank you for calling. This is Quinn. Oh, uh, wrong number. Sorry. Oops. Sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye, Quinn. Quinn. <laughs> I don't want to get Quinn involved in this if, if she wants to remain anonymous and just fuck with Amber anonymously and not have me rat her out. I don't know what I was going to say to Amber anyway. But wow, she got pretty pissed off. I mean, she seemed to realize it was a joke, but she still got kind of pissed off. So good job, Quinn. That was totally worth it. And you got me to do a full show. I was trying to say before that this was supposed to be a hobo sewed idea. I'm like, yeah, I'll just call up two or three apartment buildings, do some weird things to them. And then Quinn tells me I have to wait for 45 minutes for Amber to get back. So you can blame Quinn that this is a full show and not a hobo sewed. A full show of the same idea over and over and over. It's all Quinn's fault. Hey Brad, it's Nico again. Hopefully this is not being played on the same show as my last message because you're just going to delete it. Yeah, probably. Um, anyways, I just had a question. Um, is the way you say Jim like like an American and Canadian accent? Jim. Um, disconnect? Because you seem to be saying Jim with a B at the end. It. What? J-I-M-B, Jim. No, that's just how um, Americans say it. Could you do me a favor and say Long Island? Uh, I'm just curious. Long about. Island B. Um, That's how I say it. Or non-Canadians say it and Americans say it. Right, thank you. You're I'll welcome. You delete this. Anyways, talk to you later. Bye. You're welcome for saying that, how I always say it. Long Island. B. No, really, I just say Long Island. That's how I say it. I'm probably going to get added to the uh, the wiki on phonelosers.org slash wiki for another word I don't pronounce correctly. Thanks to you. But the reason I say Jim with a B on the end of it is because of the Jerky Boys. It's a Jerky Boys reference. Here, let's look on YouTube and see if I can find that prank call. Yeah, here it is. It's called Saul's Nude Beach. And this is a prank call from the 90s. And I'm pretty sure the line that I'm always referencing is said in the very beginning here. So let's see. Hello? Hey, hi, is, is Jim around? Who's calling, please? This is his friend, Saul. See, I, I don't know why he says it like that, but I always thought that was hilarious. Hey, hi, is, is Jim around? 
I think he was just mispronouncing it or something. And I wish I could play that entire prank, but every time I play a Jerky Boys prank on my show, I get a copyright strike from YouTube. So I guess I won't do that. But I'll put a link to it in the show notes if you guys want to hear it. It's a really funny prank call. And for some reason, I don't know why, he says, is Jim around. I'm sorry to all the Canadians that I've confused with my pronunciation of the name Jim. I'll try to stop doing that. And I guess I'm going to play your previous voicemail, Nico, only because it's short. Hi, Brad. It's Nico. Just calling to say thank you so much for the entertainment. Yeah, and yeah. And wishing you yeah. a happy new year a Whatever. little bit early, so maybe you'll get to it by the time your next show comes on. Um, hopefully you get the message well, before new year. If not, Good happy job. new year after it. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year to you, too. Hey, Roy. All right. Let's see. Um, <laughs> this is bad. Okay. I'm, I'm ashamed. Whatever. Should but, be. uh, you know, searching for tablet sizes when you're on the, when you're on the hunt for a tablet, mm-hmm. that range is usually about seven to ten inches. That's and, hot. uh, it's pretty damn funny when you're on the phone with, uh, representatives, especially those with a female type. And you're discussing what could be the best size, you know, seven, the seven inch, the eight inch, the ten inch. It's yeah. fucking awesome. That's I the can't best. Believe- Whoa, he just cut off. The voicemail goes on for another 20 seconds and he's he's just gone. There's nothing there. That's weird. That wasn't my fault, okay? I didn't cut you off on purpose. And I know exactly what you mean because I feel so insignificant with my little seven inch tablet. Hey, Brad, it's Gloria. Oh, hey, um, Gloria. I was listening to one of your calls, like from like Dingtember, which I don't understand why you call it Dingtember. Why don't you call like, why don't you do it in October and call it Dingtober? Uh, it's it the listener's like so fault. Better. But I heard one of your calls. Not mine. You always make it like, I mean, I love your calls. They're, they're amazing. But, um, oh, but I know some people get like really confused why you're in their car in the first place. Why don't you say that, like, their lights were on inside the car, or, like, their... What, what do you call, like, the front lights, Dad? The, the headlights. Why don't you say the headlights oh, were on? Holy and, like, shit, you Gloria. wanted to turn it off for them. It'd be, like, a nice gesture. You're such a and woman. And while you were in there, like, you had diarrhea or something and just shit all over their car, or, I don't know, scraped up the steering wheel. I don't know. Do something weird like that. But just say you were trying to get into their car to help them out. You know, some ideas. But use it next year. Yep. Okay, goodbye. I will. I'll totally remember this next ding timber. Brad, it's the equal line. Hey. Got a game. Okay. Take the last three voicemails of people that gave them. Got to fuck one, marry one, kill one. Have fun. Cactus, cactus. Um, n- no. <laughs> I refuse. I won't do that. I know for at least one of those last three voicemail callers, I'd get arrested for any of those things. But anyway, no, I refuse. I'm not hey, doing Brad, it. Hey, Brad, it's Minx Who's again. So, hey. I don't know me recently, if this is breaking news or not, but um, Rappy got his Twitter banned. I know. I think that's pretty sad because he had a lot of good Donald Trump posts on there. <laughs> yeah, so, um, that's what I like to read on do Twitter. Do you know if he has like an alt-, alt account or something? Because, yeah, I, I love his Twitter. Um, I th- that was the best thing I've ever read in my life. Even better than the PLA book. No, just kidding. The PLA book is amazing. Everybody should go buy that. Okay, yeah, yeah okay. Good save there. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened to his Twitter. I actually asked him about it in an email, and he just said something like the fascists have taken the Twitter down or something like that. I don't know what he was doing, but hopefully he can attend some sort of sensitivity training class or something. Whatever Twitter makes you do to get your account back if they do things like that. I hope he comes back to Twitter because he left Facebook, and now Twitter's blocked him, so all he's got left is YouTube. Hi, Dad. I learned some really cool stuff tonight. I was playing this game called Savage with my friend. So, you know, it could be imaginary because maybe I don't have All right, you guys, I swear this is his phone call. It's not my fault. It's not my mixer or anything. This is all this guy's fault. So it, was, it said that, uh, what was the first name of Pepsi? And it turns out that Pepsi was really called Brad. And I know that you really like that. So I thought you'd, you'd think that's pretty cool. All so right. Anyways, talk to you I understood about 15% of everything he said. Something about Pepsi, I think. Hey, Brad. I just wanted to say your last show, the ultraviolet paint job, man, that cracked me the fuck up. That was the best show in a long time. Thanks. Keep on doing it, man. Bye. I think I'm just running out of things to say to landlords, and now it's just getting ridiculous. It's all ultraviolet paint and then peeing on the carpets. What's next? Dear Brad. Hey, it's your most gangster listener. Long time listener first time caller all right check it out i had this neighbor come over to my house and they were actually looking for a drone that fell somewhere in the neighborhood and about 20 minutes later a second neighbor showed up looking for the same drone uh the guy Hmm. said it was his so i don't know kind of weird i thought maybe you could do something with this idea 
Okay. Um, love the show. Great ideas. Um, I want to he- hear a lot more of all your uh, great stuff. And finally, oh, if someone shucks. can come up with an idea for the 12 Days of Cactus, the PLA gave to me, that'd be a great idea for a song. All right. Cactus Hell yeah, Cactus. it would. Peace. I'd sing that all over the place in the car and stuff, you know, while I'm driving around. Somebody get to work on that. About the drone thing, I think it's Dwight that does a lot of those types of calls, but he calls, um, he, he looks on Craigslist for people who have lost their drone recently. Apparently there's a lot of that happening, and they'll post on Craigslist on the Lost and Found, begging for the return of his drone or offering a reward or whatever. And I think this is Dwight. I can't really remember. I've heard other people do this too. But he's like, hey, I'll give you 20 bucks if you'll give me the remote control for the drone so I can fly it around. Or he'll ask for instructions on how to get the drone working, stuff like that. I should steal that idea and start doing that one. That seems like a lot of fun. Hi, Brad. Hey. This is uh, Miss Malone. Hey, how Miss are you Malone. doing today? Hey, hey there, Nobby. I, I was going how, how you getting along, Nobby? To say that, oh, oh, no, I forgot what I was going to say. See, can you guess what accent I'm using? Or oh, I'm, or oh, my my own accent, I should say. You mean that's yeah? You just you just made a mistake. You just let us know that you're doing an accent, and this isn't your real accent. You, you I knew were it. Close. That was almost the right answer. But I think that was completely the right answer. Hang up the phone. No, you hang up. Hang up the phone. No, you hang up. You hang up first. Hey, look, he's gone. So I win. I think I would always win on the voicemail because. You guys are limited to three minutes. I can sit here for an hour if I need to. Hey, Brad. You're not going to win. Last time I called, my hobo phone cut off right uh, when I gave you my name. So I mm. guess I got to say it again. It's code name, no name, call in in here. Should probably shorten that, but um, <sighs> do that later. It's shorter than Red Box Chili Pepper, right? So Anyways, it's okay. you play my voicemail. Am I now legally obliged to uh, just forward you all my paychecks? Yay. All right. Well, so glad I played mad, this get one. Get back to me on that. Cactus, cactus. Happy New Year. Honestly, you know, the first half of that voicemail, I was like, fuck this shit. I'm, not, I'm never going to play this on the show. I'm going to delete this one. But then he talks about giving me money, so I'm going to leave that one in there. Hey, Brad Boring Bob. I got a really good idea. Just thought of this. I was I like, listening to your show. Uh, as a we'll way to make, to make some uh, extra money. And so basically, you should go on, go on tour. And, and like rent out like community centers where old people will play bingo and shit. Yeah. And um, just charge. I could up. be like a Better Call Saul. You know, I could do the bingo thing, yell out the bingo numbers for the old people. PLA listeners, like 20 bucks to come listen to you do a live, like. Oh, shit. I don't know. Ba- basically, you'd like. You, it'd be I like thought the seven, suggestion was going to be for me to do bingo. This is boring Friday now. Night from like 10 p.m. all the way into like 4 a.m. and everyone. Maybe like a big sleepover or something. We all just, uh, I don't know, get drunk and listen to you play shows and Let's everything do it. like that and all that cool stuff. 20 bucks. Anyways, uh, let, let me know when uh, the first tour date is and I'll, okay. all right. I'll be ready to go. I'll get started on that right away. The best idea I've ever heard. Hey, boy, listen. Hey, Jag TV. And when are you going to do this? Uh, they're going to come and start painting, it looks like, on Thursday. You hear that bullshit? What? Bullshit. I have to say that that's... What? What? What did I do? What are you talking about? What was that all about? What the hell, Jag TV? Quit freaking me out. I think that was some sort of a threat or something, so I'm going to quit doing the voicemails now. I no longer feel safe doing the voicemails, so that's the end of today's show. You can thank Jag TV for the abrupt ending, even though Chris and Sarah is the sponsor of today's show. We're going to blame Jag TV for that one. I moved into my new apartment at the end of February, surprised to find out that the water was free. The lady in the office says it's included in the rent. Use it as much as you want. I had their total consent. Now I'm saving extra money on the monthly expenses. Filling up my bottles of water as fast as my sink dispenses. I flush the toilet seven times every time that I pee. I may as well. It helps my local water municipality. Free water every single day at Oak View Apartments in Green Bay and I read my contract all the way through and there's nothing that my landlord can do. Free water every single day at Oak View Apartments in Green Bay and 
My rent never will increase because I'm locked into a long-term lease. I bought a fountain for my living room, and man, it is beautiful. It's nearly eight feet tall and has a full working waterfall. I ran the water lines through the walls under my bathroom sink. It runs 24 hours a day and hardly ever even leaks. I have a black market shower head for better pressure while showering, which I leave running all the time, making the bathtub self-cleaning. I've got free air conditioning using ice from my fridge with copper tubes on a fan wrapped around the front of it. But running the fan all the time used up too much energy, so I'm using a water-powered turbine just to keep the fan spinning. And cooling the ice from the freezer made my power bill higher, so I've made another turbine using parts for my dryer. With a water reservoir hidden out on my balcony, I'm piping water through a generator for free electricity. I flush trash down my toilet to save money on garbage bags, which is really convenient because it's such a long walk to the dumpster, man. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay. Yeah. I've read my contract all the way through, and there's nothing that my landlord can do. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and my rent never will increase because I'm locked into a long-term lease. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and I know the landlord would have a fit if he knew I ran my washer for the hell of it. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and I wish I wasn't on the second floor because water's leaking from my reservoir. Excuse me? You installed what on your wall? Are you insane? Why would you do that? You've done something that I've never even heard of in my entire life. I've got a dam in my kitchen that can power my oven and runs my KitchenAid mixer at the push of a button. There are tracks carrying water that just go on forever. Running all over the walls, it looks like something by MC Escher. I'm selling bottled ice water at major sporting events, making more than enough money than I need for my rent, quenching the thirst of the fans, helping them deal with the heat. I'm giving the Aquafina man a fucking run for his money. My brother-in-law is paying me $50 to fill his pool with 25,000 gallons of water. But when I'm not building a model rainforest in my bathtub. I'm mailing bottles of clean water all the way to Africa and doing scientific experiments with foil and gallium, mixing them carefully with water so I can make hydrogen. I hope my city doesn't mind losing their water monopoly because I've applied for a permit to start my own water company. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and I read my contract all the way through and there's nothing that my landlord can do. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and my rent never will increase because I'm locked into a long-term lease. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and the clothes I'm wearing now are really clean because they're in the washer almost constantly. Free water every single day at a few apartments in Green Bay and it's been fun trying brand new things like full-scale model ice sculpting. I've never heard of anything so ludicrous. Why are you dumping dirt in the toilet? 